wherever we want to go, our feet shall take us there. This is Kason Demwenda, the president for the Economic Freedom Fighters. This morning we have come to pay a KETI score on Woodlands Police Station where our comrade Chibifia Tari is being held after he was picked last night. Of course, the information that we have received is that he has not been formally charged. I was talking to him just a few minutes ago when he was being taken to force quarters where he is going to be interrogated with Lane and being asked some questions. So right now as I'm talking, he's left Woodlands uh, Police Station. He's no longer in the cells, but he has been taken to force quarters by three police officers. I had a moment to interact with him. He's in fair spirits, not very jubilant, but he's still putting up a strong fight. And we are looking and watching closely to make sure that the right thing is done, that his rights are not trumped on because Zambia is a democracy, and in a democracy there are main players. The law should be followed properly. He complained of an attack on his house, and he availed, according to him, the evidence to that effect. And we expect that the police will act professionally. They will do a good investigation. We learned last evening that he was arrested together with his helper, the garden boy, who was also taken in custody and taken to uh, Kawata police will be going to Kawata police to go and check on him too. But I can confidently confirm that I was with uh, Comrade Chulifa Tadi just behind me here when he was being taken to the force quarters by three police officers where we have been informed that he will be interrogated and asked questions concerning the very case upon which he was arrested. So I thought it would be prudent that we keep you posted because every Zambian lives matter and together as Zambia we have a duty to make sure that we make Zambia great. This is Kasonde Mwenda, the president for the Economic Freedom Fighters. Wherever we want to go, our feet will definitely take us there. Let us continue um, supporting the cause for democracy and let us make sure that the law is not haphazardly misused. Already he has spent a night in the police cells and we have got enough laws in this country that should not allow him to spend more days behind these cells without him being charged and we remember President Akainde Chilema was very instrumental in condemning such kind of arrests which do not culminate into a quick charge. Right now, Comrade Chilifatari has not been charged, is being held and within a few hours by this evening the grace period by which the law allows the police to hold somebody in their cells without being judged will be elapsing. So we should make sure that we follow this government and its actions closely, that they do not take us back to the very things that they condemned strongly and heavily when they are in the opposition, that they should not use the law that they condemned to be bad now to be using it against the citizens. Of course, that does not mean then us citizens and us political leaders should abuse the law. We have a duty to uphold the law. And in this case, we should make sure that we don't only support things that are against uh, the state, but even things that are, uh, the state perpetuates against its citizens should equally be condemned. So I have come here and I can assure you, we'll keep you updated, we'll keep you posted, even in this case where Comrade Chilifetari complained that there was an invasion at his house and he strongly suspected that the people that invaded his privacy and his house with ammunition, with guns, were from the um, army. So we follow this issue closely and we'll make sure that the government does not stray, does not harm him, but lets the law take its course. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless Zambia. Thank you.